Hello. Nice to see you all. Uh, my name is Jessica and I'm here from Reachability to talk with everyone about online interviews. Um, if you are new to Reachability, we are a nonprofit located in Halifax um, and we help people find success in whatever it is that their goals are. So whether that's something um, from learning some new coping skills to helping set some goals for at home, or if it's um, getting to work, we work with you to help you reach those goals in a way that works best for you. Um, so if you want to find out some more about Reachability, uh, you can visit us at www.reachability.org. Um, our website links are on the page here, so we'd love for you to check us out. Um, these daily workshops are a part of our new online programming that we started um, uh, back at the beginning of April called Reach Up. Um, if you have never heard of Reach Up before, make sure you drop hashtag Reach Up in the comments and we will get in touch with you. Um, but we are going live um, every day, Monday to Friday with different topics um, that can help with life at home. Uh, and with, again, following those same goals of uh, achieving success in the best way that we can. So um, we usually run online pro or programs, sorry, live, um, that people can come attend at our offices. But with COVID-19, um, we have made the decision to go digital so that we can continue to work with our clients. So. Uh, again, it's the program's reach up today. Um, I'm talking about online interviews and how they're somewhat the new norm. Um, and a lot of companies were relying on uh, online and video interviews prior to COVID-19. So for some of you, um, online interviews might not be new. Uh, this might be something you've been trying to work out for a while. Um, but it may be new. Um, and so I'm hoping to be able to offer some tips. Uh, I wanted to start off by showing maybe a way that you shouldn't um, position yourself. Hi, Bill. Don't worry, you're not late. Uh, I started right at one o'clock, so you're you're not late in finding us, but it's nice to see you. Um, I thought it would be kind of funny. I, I tried to tried to create a kind of a cluttered space behind me. Uh, you can see my aprons and sweaters and things hanging on my treadmill. Um, because I wanted to kind of show how it probably wouldn't be great um, to set up for an interview. I've got a, a bright window. It's beautifully sunny outside, um, which is great. Uh, but I've got a bright window in the back, which is probably contri con contributing, if I could speak, uh, to the glare on my glasses. Um, for those of us that wear glasses, it's something that we're always going to have to deal with is that glare. So try not to get too sidetracked with it. Um, but when setting up um, an interview space, you want to be comfortable, but you want to just make sure, and we're going to talk about this after, but you want to make sure that you try and have somewhat of a neutral background. So, um, and I'm in my kitchen. Uh, which yes, that's where I have a treadmill. Um, you do what you got to do, but there is, um, you know, just try to do the best you can to make it so that um, there, so that it's kind of incognito uh, and you have a nice neutral space behind you. Um, if you aren't able to do that, uh, you can always find a space. I know we, some of my colleagues uh, hang a sheet behind them um, to kind of clear out the space behind them and create a neutral um, background so whatever you can do um just try and make it and we're like i said we're going to talk about that in a minute i also had like my comfy blanket on the chair which probably wouldn't be great to have on for an interview so but i thought rather than moving it prior to i would leave that stuff there and show just some simple ways um that we can kind of cut down on the clutter behind you because when you're doing an interview um, just as you're doing one in person you really want to make yourself and your personality and the answers to the questions um, stand out so um, just kind of declutter that so uh, my colleague Deb is going to moderate and make sure that we answer all of your questions um, in the comments and she did lovely job at typing in the email there so if you're new to our reach up workshops um, you can uh, send us an email at reach up 
at reachability.org, which we have put in the comments, or you can just type hashtag reach up in the comments and um, we'll make sure to get a, a hold of you. Yes, that's a great comment. Making sure that you're sitting in front of um, some curtains in front of a window is very helpful as well to create a nice background. Um, Another thing that you want to try to do, and hopefully I have done so, um, is limit the noise, uh, the background noise, and kind of let people in your house know that you're going to need um, some quiet time. Now, you, uh, I did cue my kids to do a little bit of an entrance to kind of create some noise, but they're not listening. Surprise, surprise. Um, but uh, you do want to let people know that you're trying to, just like you're having an important phone call, that you would like to limit the noise so you don't have a bunch of kids um, running around in the background when possible. Um, if you uh, need to, maybe you might have to confine yourself in a, in a room and shut the door um, because you want to be able to concentrate on what's going on as well in the interview. So... Um, I talked about reachability. Again, if you're new, please um, join us on our website, reachability.org, and you can find that link in our information on this page. We talked about our Reach Up program um, and that we're here every day, Monday to Friday at 1 p.m. Um, live with new workshops. So tomorrow I know we have um, a wellness focused workshop, um, which is going to be really exciting with a, a new facilitator. Um, so I uh, encourage you to join us again tomorrow. Um, and Thursday, we're going to have some skill development. Friday, we're going to have some fitness, I believe. Um, and so we're always trying to offering some new things to our clients. So um, I quickly uh, wanted to just recap that we're talking about online interviews. Uh, and I'm going to try to offer six, call them tips. Um, you don't have to follow them in an order, but just some things that um, I think would be helpful in trying to uh, get ready for an online interview and to kind of ease into it because um, they can be um, quite difficult, although interviews in general are. Um, unless you're somebody who really thrives on being the center of attention, interviews are generally um, somewhat uncomfortable and we're in an extra uncomfortable situations right now. So one of the first tips that I wanted to mention is to try and be confident um, because we are all equally, you know, well, maybe not equally, but we're all on some level uncomfortable with these situations. Um, we it's started probably a year and a half ago now, um, an event called Speed Meeting, which was a, an interview practice event. And the reason why we created that event, and a number of you I know have participated, um, was because interviews are uncomfortable. And we wanted to kind of have a real life practice with real employers um, so that we could go get that practice. So be confident in what you're doing. Be aware that it's uncomfortable for everybody, um, even employers who interview all the time. It's meeting a new face. It always has a little bit of discomfort with it. Um, and no one is really 100 percent confident when when entering into those uh, new environments. So be confident in yourself. You have already past a certain level um, of criteria in order to get an interview with an employer. So give yourself a good pat on the back on that and um, be confident that the employer is interested in you um, and allow your, your personality and stuff to shine through. So the next thing um, I wanted to talk about just to reiterate is even when you have to sit in your kitchen, um, there are ways that you don't have to have everything showing. You don't have to, so try if you need to um, move some things around or if you have to um, pull your, your screen closer to you or, you know, whatever it is that you have to do, but try and, and have somewhat of a neutral space, um, again, because you want to be the focal point um, of the interview. And now I am using a computer and I am I understand that not everybody has a, a computer to be able to use. If you have to use your cell phone, um, you can easily uh, use a cell phone, but just to be aware that the camera um, is right here. So the usually to get a, a good picture, it's better to turn your phone this way instead of this way. Um, so when you do that, oftentimes you'll look over here because we're used to the camera being in the middle. Um, but the camera is over on the side. So what I like to do is to put a sticky note on my phone um, 
to remind me that that's where I want to look or at least try to. It's not going to be too distracting if you're looking, you know, at the sticky note and not right there. But if we're looking over here or even down this end where sometimes the camera is, depending on which end it's flipped, um, it'll look like we're not paying attention or we're not looking. So I like to put a little sticky note also just to remind myself to smile and to take a deep breath um, because uh, it's going to be all right and I got this. So I like to, to position it there and then when I'm looking at it uh, i can't get it in the camera in the thing i can look at the sticky note okay so if you're using your phone that's fine many people um only have a cell phone to do their video and video interviews or their online interviews it works great um but just uh, stick a little something a sticker or a sticky note or something there just to kind of keep your focus because it's just a natural thing to want to look over here okay so that's just a little helpful tip um on having a nice neutral space and you want to be comfortable now, I know when we um, go to an interview, we want to look our best and um, we want to, you know, put on a great first impression, um, but we want to also make sure that we're comfy. And so we can put on something that looks, you know, business casual. I've got a nice black top on today. And although with interviews at home, you don't necessarily need to worry. I did put like my dress pants on um, just so that I would feel like I was prepared for an interview. Um, but you don't have to get all dressed up. You know, the last thing anybody's going to want to see you is you sitting in like a suit jacket um, in the middle of your kitchen. So put something on that's nice, that's clean, that's casual, um, doesn't have a lot of distraction on it, like with logos or anything like that, but just something casual so that you can be comfortable. Again, I'll go back to the fact that interviews can be uncomfortable. So also having an interview at your home where you may be worried about a kid running through in their underwear or someone yelling for a snack or a phone ringing. Um, you, you need to try and ease, ease into it and make yourself as comfortable as you can. So again, to recap, we want to have a nice neutral space. Try not to have your laundry hanging off the treadmill um, in the frame of your interview. Okay. We want to be confident and remember that the employer has chosen us for an interview. Um, so you want to be confident and know that you have already surpassed some of those requirements and they want to learn more about you and they want to learn your personality. Um, and we want to be comfortable. So comfortable clothes, but clean, nice, casual business attire, nothing that's going to make us feel uncomfortable because we're already uncomfortable enough. Okay, I'm just going to scroll down through the comments here because I for some reason, my comments didn't go. Don't be scared to do anything. <laughs> Hi, Darren. Nice to see you. Oh, yes. Over cats or dogs, they can definitely be. Hi, David. Yes. Give yourself credit. Get Give yourself that pat on the back because it is um, an amazing uh, feet to just get an interview because if you've been job searching recently or at all, you know that a lot of times you can feel like you're playing the job lottery um, and doesn't matter how many things interviews you send out or resumes you send out, sorry, um, the interviews don't always come. So definitely give yourself that pat on the back for getting an interview. Now, I wanted to mention something around comfort. Um, I uh, talk a lot which you find that you will probably do during an interview too, because you're going to want to get as much in as you can. Um, when you talk a lot, sometimes you get dry and that can be uncomfortable. Um, and so it, it's okay to have a glass of water. If anybody has, has learned about anxiety or trying to calm people down, having a glass of water is really helpful with that. Now, um, might not be convenient to have a giant glass of water like this, that when you have a drink, it covers your entire head, but a nice simple glass of water is okay to have nearby. Um, and I recommend it because uh, it's going to give you that second to catch your breath and again to relax and calm down. And also, if you get really parched, it's extremely helpful. Um, the hardest thing to do is keep talking when you've got a, a sore throat or when you feel like you've got a knot in your throat because you're uncomfortable. So definitely okay to keep um, a glass of water around. Just to show you, just because it's funny, here's, you know, appropriate, maybe not appropriate, although I find it fun to drink from this cup when I'm in my Zoom meetings with my colleagues because I like it when my face disappears. Um, but I digress. 
Uh, again, to recap for those of you who might just be tuning in and you're new, um, my name is Jessica and we are talking about online interviews and video interviews and how that's kind of the new norm right now. Um, and even before COVID-19, uh, a lot of employers, because they're doing a lot of hiring and they're trying to streamline things, um, would use video and online interviews. So we're just going through some tips. So first, very general things um, that I wanted to cover was to be comfortable in your clothing and also in your space in your home try to have a nice neutral space we had some comments recommending um, to sit in front of um, some curtains like at a window if you have a if your walls are really um, full of lovely photos of your family those aren't really things that you should be sitting in front of because they'll distract from focusing on you you don't want to show your laundry or your coats hanging off a treadmill or you probably don't want to have your kitchen you know even though you might not have dirty dishes piled everywhere probably not the best thing to show for an interview. Um, another thing that was that we wanted you to know to be confident um, that you've already done a great job to get an interview. Um, Terry Cousineau, don't use a water bottle, single use as they might be environmentally aware. Very good point. Um, I would try to not worry about if they were going to judge your environmental friendliness, but it is um, a very good point. And also, have you ever, I, I'm a big Powerade drinker just to get my electrolytes, and when I drink on Powerade, they have that nozzle, um, and they can make like a slurpy sound. So you just want to keep all the distractions to a minimum, and that includes noise. Um, hopefully, you can't hear my kid's TV. He is quite far away, and I turned it down to like a four, um, but uh, to have noise nothing for him to keep him occupied for for a little while could have been dangerous so um but try and reduce the noise levels um neutral space comfort practice so i i mentioned how i use a phone sometimes for interviews or for zoom calls and where i put the sticky note um, our phones are also great for practice everybody can has a camera function if you have a phone turn it on yourself and just kind of figure out where you would put it um, record yourself a little bit. I've been noticing uh, that I don't really like the way that I talk when I'm on video, but I wouldn't know that if we haven't been doing a lot of video. So practice, do a little run through, have someone give you some sticky notes with some questions on them. And if you're using a phone, you can stick them here. If you're using your computer, you can put them right up uh, on the screen by the by the camera. Don't cover the camera. Um, but I like to do that when I'm practicing. I'll take a little pad of sticky notes and I'll write three or four questions on them. And then I'll put them there. And then I don't remember what, what order they're in. So I'll record myself and it'll say, tell me about yourself, which is like the most dreaded interview question of all time. Um, and so I'll, I'll answer that question and I'll try to do it in complete sentences. Um, try to not pause for long periods of time. Um, and then I'll pull the sticky note off and there'll be another question and I'll try to answer that. And I'll record myself just so that I can listen my, to myself, um, see if I like the answer, see if I did a lot of ums and ahs and oohs and pauses or if I was biting my fingernails um, in the middle of it. Recording ourselves for practice is a really good idea. Um, another way that you can do it to get some feedback is you can FaceTime a friend. Um, we're all here on Facebook, so if you go into Messenger, you can video call and you can ask them to interview you. Uh, in our employment programs at Reachability, we do what we call mock interviews quite often, um, where we literally step outside the office door and we shut the door and we knock and we open the door and pretend like we've never met you before, although we've been working together for you know a few weeks or a few months. Um, and we do the little mock interview so that you can kind of have that weird awkwardness feel. Um, but ask one of your friends or family members to uh, give you some interview questions. Um, anything just being able to allow someone else to ask a question without interrupting them and then pausing and being able to respond, uh, positioning yourself, you know, making sure that you like the way you look. It can be extremely distracting if you're like me and you have all these hairs all over the place and that bothers you. Um, I'm used to it, but if that's if that bothers you while you're trying to focus on the interview questions and giving the person on the other side of the screen your attention, your mind.
you just want to be focused on the things that your hair is sticking up or maybe you've got a, a strap or a tag sticking out so always do that little practice run first um, to test it out and make sure that there's not going to be anything else distracting you um, i like to keep a mirror behind um, because I was talking the other day about how when you're on video, the left and the right switch. Um, and it's really embarrassing when you want to get a hair on this side, but you're reaching on this side and, and then you're just all over the place. Um, so I keep a mirror behind the computer and I have one here. I don't have it there all the time, colleagues, if you're watching so that you think I'm like checking myself out. But I grabbed a mirror to shove behind here um, because it's helpful to, to look up and uh, be able to see yourself and just kind of give yourself a little two second check. So a mirror can also be um, extremely helpful. So again, for those just joining on, we're talking about interviews and online video uh, interviews, um, just to kind of give some helpful tips. And uh, it, our CEO Tova Sherman is going to join us next Tuesday for a part two to our interview workshop and she's going to do um, some questions and answers and and what employers are expecting when it comes to that type of stuff. So we're just going to do um, some real quick tips and helpful things um, today and then next Tuesday Tova um, is going to work through some questions and things like that. So to recap, we want to be extremely comfortable both in our clothes and where we're at. If we're trying to squeeze into a little teeny spot in our bedroom where there's like a two foot opening on the wall where there isn't anything and we're huddled in like this, we're not going to be very comfortable. So do the best of what you can. If what you got is a camping chair in the porch so that you're far away from the kids and you might be sitting next to your washing machine, that's okay. If that's the best you got, then that's the best you got. Like I said, the interviewer, the person that's going to be interviewing you is also going to be sitting at home. They're also going to have had to figure out the same things as you prior to going online and doing this online interview. So you're not alone in that. Try to get yourself as comfortable as you can. Again, nice neutral space without, oh, I can see my apron there in the corner. <laughs> uh, without clothes hanging in the background. I did put those there on purpose, by the way. Um, it's not a do as I say, not as I do situation. Um, try to have neutral clothes on without any big logos or anything on your on your shirt. Um, you don't need to give a full body, um, you know, view. This is an appropriate shoulders and up is fine. If you wanted to to do a little bit more, that's fine. But you'll need to be a little bit further away so that you can fit into the screen. But there's no uh, specific protocol. I wouldn't suggest something like this. Because uh, again, that doesn't look comfortable. Um, so just try and and allow yourself some comfort. You know, we have some great breathing exercises on our YouTube channel. If you go on and look up Reachability Association, um, if you really find that you get extremely anxious before interviews, I would invite you to go um, and try out the breathing exercises that my colleagues Tara and Amanda have um, posted on there because they're extremely helpful to kind of ease your anxiety you know help you with some good posture and just allow you to be comfortable in your space so that's really important um, again practicing whether it's through uh, facetiming with a friend through messenger recording yourself on your camera your phone's camera option you can do that um, or you know if you just kind of sit here pull the camera up and not even record but just look at yourself and Give yourself that opportunity to be facing the camera get it all set up ahead of time um, whatever works for you um, limit the noise i have to boot everybody off the wi-fi when i am going live because our internet connection isn't that great so you want to be aware of that as well um, and be confident and breathe and make sure that you give yourself some space um, to do your best you want your personality to shine through so there are some different things that you can do when preparing for an interview. You can look up um, interview questions and see what the most popular ones are. I try to just urge people instead of looking up questions um, because everybody could use different. I mean, I've been in interviews before where they were like, if you could be any animal, what animal would you be? There's not really anything you can prepare for that. Um, you know, I, I'm not even really an animal person, so I wouldn't be like, oh, a dog right away because I don't have a favorite animal. So that would be a question that really throws me off. So I wouldn't 
expect for you to go and research all of the top interview questions because every employer um, is the same. You can, um, the best thing to do would be to write down things about you. Write down things that you want an employer to know. And again, sticky notes are fantastic things because I could be, I could have them stuck all along my screen. Um, and you, my interviewer would be none the wiser, but if I want them to know that I'm a hard worker, I can put a sticky note up there. If I want, um, the emphasis to be on the fact that I am, uh, a team player and a go-getter and I'm extremely flexible, then I can have those notes all up around the screen or behind the screen. If you're using a phone, you could have them somewhere. Um, I would focus your attention on planning about what it is that you want to highlight about yourself. Maybe you are exceptionally good at Microsoft Office or you really like spreadsheets. I have a colleague who is a genius with spreadsheets. Um, and uh, that would be something that I would want every employer to know about her, that she is a genius when it comes to spreadsheets and databases, because that is not something that everybody has. Everybody or most people would probably feel very comfortable in saying that they're hardworking or that they're flexible, but you want to stand out. You want to stand out from all of the people who are going to be having these online interviews um, and these video interviews, and you want to stand out. So really think what makes Jessica different? What makes Tova and Terry different than everybody else? What are the things that you can highlight um, in response to their questions so that you can make sure that you're really picking out um, uh, the things that you want to mention? So again, um, these are our reach up workshops um, for those of you that are new if you aren't enrolled in reach up make sure that you leave a comment hashtag reach up or you can email us at reach up at reachability.org and that is in the comments my colleague deborah put those that in the comments earlier um, and make sure you get in touch with us we are doing these workshops monday to friday every day live at one o'clock um, we also have some really great bright side videos that come on every day at 10 a.m to kind of help us um, maybe especially this week in this time of darkness when um, you know we're not able to deal with uh, stress um, and emotions the way that we want to with what um, has been happening in Nova Scotia in addition to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, every day at 10 a.m. we post a video, very light, um, but with some great tips on how to look at the bright side uh, of things and try to have a few minutes of positive in the morning to get you off on the right foot. Um, so again, I'll just recap the tips for online interviews. And of course, these work for video interviews as well. I know there are a lot of businesses uh, like Admiral Insurance that do video interviews. So again, those are really great because you have the questions um, and you have to record your answers to them. And again, you can put your questions on the sticky notes, stick them up here and pull them off one at a time um, as you're recording your the answers to your questions. So again, be comfortable within your space, within the clothes that you're wearing. Try to have a nice neutral uh, business casual appearance. Don't force yourself to put a suit jacket or a tie. Hello from the Philippines. Welcome, Genesis. Nice to see you. Um, make sure that you are very comfortable in your space um, and practice. Practice. I don't think necessarily makes perfect, but practice will make you feel more comfortable. You will feel more prepared. Uh, I feel very comfortable going live, but I always go to our practice group first and make sure um, that everything is set up right uh, so that I can make sure that I'm giving the best experience. So even the experts practice, so make sure you do that. It will make you feel even more comfortable. Uh, again, neutral space. You don't want to highlight the things that are hanging in the background. Um, do what you can. Don't overstress it. Um, I can't say that enough. Interviews can be difficult enough. So if the best you have is a camping chair and your phone in a nice quiet space, the employer is going to appreciate the fact that you have um, gotten yourself to a space that's quiet where you can give your one-on-one -on -one attention. Do the best that you can um, and uh, try and limit the noise in your house. Let people know if you share your house with other people that you need some quiet time. Um, can you edit or do retakes until you are satisfied? 
if you are doing the um, videotaped ones, like Admiral does Terry, you can um, you can redo your videos. Um, I don't know how many times. I don't think it lets you do it unlimited. I think once you enter into the video interview, it says you have X amount of time to answer these questions. So you would want to space your, your timing out. Um, I think with Admiral, again, I'll just use them as an example because I know they do this. You get six questions in X amount of time. So if you've gotten through four of them and the fifth one is really sticking you and you've still got 20 minutes of time and you feel like you can redo it, then yes, you can. Um, but there is usually a time limit on the video recorded interviews because you do kind of check in to do them and then you go. So um, on the, uh, the, the live ones, if you're speaking to someone and you fumble um, or you feel like you should revisit that question, you are the entrepreneur, as we say, or you own that, that interview. Um, and I would encourage you to say, you know, uh, sir or ma'am or, or um, you know, employer, I would like to go back to that question that you asked me about the gap in my resume, or I'd like to go back to the question that you had asked, you know, why do I want to work for your organization? Because I feel like now I can better answer it. Um, Self-reflection and being self-aware is a very great um, skill to have. And an employer will very likely, you know, we can't speak for everybody, but an employer will very likely appreciate the fact that you have recognized that you could offer a better answer rather than them having to go away and be like, geez, I really wish Terry would have done a better answer on that question. Um, if you can recognize that still within the interview, I would encourage you to say, you know, could we go back to that question? I think that I, I can answer it a little bit better now. Um, and so I would implore you to do that. Um, be confident and breathe. Uh, getting a job and looking for a job is a very uh, can be a very stressful situation, um, especially when you add on the additional stress that um, that today's society is facing with COVID nineteen, um, and in the way that we all are dealing with that individually. So breathe, bring your glass of water, you know, a small one, not the big giant one. Yeah, the mirror. I love having the practice mirror too. Um, Breathe, give yourself a break, a good pat on the back, and you've got this. So I'll leave you with that. I do have the action um, for our reach up. And again, if you're new to reach up, please make sure that you leave hashtag reach up in the comments or email us at reach up at reachability.org. And again, my colleague has put that email in the comments. Um, but our action for today is I would like for you to let us know what is your biggest fear? Um, when it comes to interviews, whether they're online or video or otherwise. But what is it that you find um, makes you the most anxious? Is it what you think they're going to think of you? Is it a certain question like, I really don't like the tell me about yourself question? Um, Because I find that question is more about the employer and not really sure what it is they want me to tell them. Um, But I, I want to know from you, what is your biggest fear or what is it that hangs you up the most when you're thinking about um, going to an interview? Um, and so I would love to hear from you. Email your action for today to reach up at reachability.org. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Have a great day.